Hi, welcome to the Ruckus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, in the latest version of SmartZone 5.0, um, we now have the ability to manage Ruckus ICX switches or routers. Uh, and so in order to do that, you need to be running SmartZone or Virtual SmartZone 5.0 or above. As well, your ICX switches need to be running at least 8080 code in order to be managed. But let's have a look at how we add those in. So here we have the SmartZone dashboard. Um, so what you'll see here is a couple things. You see uh, wireless and wired tab if you just want to see one versus the other. Uh, but down on the side here, we see switches. So this is going to be where our switches are going to show up as opposed to access points that we've had in the past. So if we click on that switches tab, um, right now we don't see anything, right? Uh, ICX switches is zero, zero offline, zero flag, zero um, online. Uh, and then there's a default group. So what's going to happen is once we configure these ICXs, um, then they're going to show up in that default group and then I'll, ma I'll move them to another group in order for them to be managed. So really two ways to, to point those switches at the smart zone. One is I can do it manually uh, and the other way is to do it with DHCP with an option 43. But in this case I'm going to do those switches manually. So I'm going to just hop over to my uh, my terminal here. So I, I'm going to add two switches, a 7250 and a 7150. So I can see them both here um, so if I go to config T, um, actually before I do that, I just want to make sure that I can ping, uh, my smart zone, which I can, so that's good. Uh, so then we'll go into config T and I'm going to do an SZ, uh, active dash list, Right, and then we're going to add the IP or multiple IPs, uh, depending on how many smart zones you have. 192.168.1.121, and I could continue to add other entries here, but in my case, I only have one, so I'm just going to add that smart zone entry, and that's all I have to do from this perspective, right? So, um, once that's in there, do a write memory, of course, to save that. Uh, I'm going to hop over to my 7150. And we'll just add the uh, the uh, smart zone active list again. Okay. And uh, so what we should see here is if we do a show log, um, in the show log, you see this actually show up as a uh, smart zone query to uh, uh, 121 is failed and the HTTP response code is 401. That's okay. An HTTP or API response code of 401 just means that it's unauthorized, right? It doesn't mean that it's a problem. It just means that the smart zone hasn't authorized that switch yet, right? And so if we... Um, now hop back over to our smart zone and I refresh the screen. We now see our two switches uh, waiting in the default group, right? So they show us offline. They're not actually offline. They're just not authorized yet, right? So we don't know the switch name. Um, we haven't read a lot of information off of those. We don't know how many ports they have or the port status, etc. So what we got to do in order to make that work is we need to add a new group. Um, so we're going to add a switch group. You can call it, uh, you know, whatever you want. Switch group one in this case. Add a description if you like, but we're just going to add that. So here's switch group one. And then we're going to uh, go back into our default group and select these guys and then move them to switch group one. So here it's going to give you a warning um, and say that if you want to move it to switch group one, it's uh, going to have an SNMP walk in the next five minutes. So it's going to get that information in five minutes or less once it's done the SNMP walk. So I've moved one, going to move the other to switch group one. Same thing is going to happen. Okay, so now if I go back here, if I refresh the screen, 
uh, right? So there's now nothing left in the default group. In my switch group, I have my two switches here. They now show as online. Uh, however, we still don't have information, right? So we don't have a switch name. We don't have port information until that SNMP uh, walk is done. Going back and looking at the uh, at the command line, um, you'll see that it actually did a, a welcome to virtual smart zone. So when we move those uh, switches to the other group, you'll see them both come up as welcome to virtual smart zone uh, when virtual smart zone actually you know authenticated to those devices. Uh, we can also do a show SZ status um, and under show SZ status. Uh, it's now saying that it's uh, it's in a connected state, um, so it's it's enabled. It's in a connected state, uh, and then we can see information about who is in our active list, our option 43, etc. Um, and you can see under SSH tunnel status, we can see that there's a uh, an established tunnel to tunnel that information back to um, back to the uh, the smart zone controller. So here, uh, it's taken about five minutes uh, in order to read these, but we now see um, our two switches show up. We see their switch name show up, right? These are just the default names, of course, on 7150 and 7250. Um, and we also see now the number of ports and the port status populated, right? So um, we're, we're going to have more information available to us in the lower tabs here. And then, so this is phase one, right? So in the next phase, then we'll be able to have full manageability. But right now, it's mostly about um, monitoring and uh, and firmware backup and, and upgrade, etc. Um, okay, so that's it. Um, fairly easy to add your switches. Uh, in the next next time, we'll talk about how to uh, how to automatically approve your devices and put them into into different groups. But that's it for today. Thanks for joining, and have a great day. Take care.